بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو گائز ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ان اور پیویس ٹوٹوریل وی ہیو کریٹیڈ دس پروجیکٹ ان وچ وی ہیو لرن اباؤٹ اسٹیٹمنٹ اینڈ پریپیئر اسٹیٹمنٹ ناؤ ان دس ٹوٹوریل وی ول لرن اباؤٹ کالیبل اسٹیٹمنٹ ان جاوا سو اف آئی ڈبل کلک آن دس بٹن ٹو شو یو دا کوڈ سو وی ہیو کریٹیڈ دس کوڈ وی ہیو میڈ اے کنیکشن ٹو دا ڈیٹا بیس and we have also uh, uh, returned some results from this database now this code is available in the description of our, our previous tutorial now the rest of the code will remain but we will remove this these few line of code remove this and now we have made a connection to the database in on this line so it will be there and now down here we will create some new code so the question arise why we use a uh, callable statement so callable statement interface is used to execute a call to database stored procedure now when we call database stored procedures then we use callable statements we have three types of parameters in out and in out in my schedule now prepare statement can take only n parameters but callable statement uses all three of them now in this tutorial we will learn how we will use n and out parameter now the question arise what is an n parameter so an n parameter is a, a parameter that we provide to a uh, scavel statement and an out parameter is a, a parameter that uh, scavel statement supply to us and return and in out parameter has both the capabilities so now if i show you the database so i have created a stored procedure so while this test db is selected i will come to this routine and we have this get employee name routine if i edit this now you can see here this is the our stored procedure name and uh, this is the in parameter and this is the out parameter and we have then created here the uh, scavel statement select e name into emp name because this is um, my out parameter and uh, e name is the column name and this is the parameter name so it will select this e name into this employee name underscore name from employee we are e number is equal to employee id so employee id is my in parameter and e number is a column and the employee table so as we have uh, watched this uh, stored procedure now i'll close it down and now i'll go again to netbeans now first i will write the query so final string um proc underscore query equals and then double quotes curly braces and then we will use your call git emp name and then parentheses and inside these parentheses we will give question marks so question mark comma question mark so this first one is the end parameter that we will provide and the second one is the out parameter that this sql statement will provide us now i'll put a semicolon here now i will go down and uh, i will use your callable statement stmt equals con dot prepare call and here i will pass in the proc query control space and query and now i'll put semicolon here now this will show us an error i have uh, misspelled this no the spelling is correct so if i click on this and add import java dot scale dot callable statement so now our 
um, callable statement is imported now I'll go down so here I can use stmd dot uh, set and because the parameter that we are going is integer of type integer and then I'll provide stmd dot register out param and we will provide the out parameter here so if I go to this uh, database and show you this uh, employee table and now you can see we have this employee number so I will provide an employee number I will provide this 55 so here I will provide 1 and this will become 55 and then in this I'll provide the type of the uh, out parameter so I'll use I'll remove this and it will become 2 comma and now I'll go to this and java dot is cable dot dot types t is capital types dot um, war car and now we are good to go so now we will execute the statement so here I will use stmt dot execute and put semicolon here so now here I will use stmt dot get string and this int one and I will use here two pass in two here and here I will use a string name equals and now here I'll put semicolon and uh, I'll use J option control space dot show message control space and then I'll pass in the name here now if I quickly run this application so now if I click on this execute now you can see this Khan is shown here now if I go to this and show you we have provided this 55 so this Khan is shown here now if I provide another value if I come here and quickly provide uh, 60 and now if I execute this so now the application is running again and if I click on this uh, execute statement now you can see as is shown here and if I come here and show you 60 asad so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you